honestly, I really like Illinois. I'm just in the suburbs outside of the city. I don't live in Chicago, but I'm, I like to say that I live in Chicago. In actuality, I'm like 40 minutes away from the city. Don't you love how I put my shoes on and my backpack and like pretended to walk out the door, but here I am talking to you. I do see that I have a work email and I do have one big task that I need to get done today. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm just gonna take you along for my little Illinois time. Does it look like I have a little silly hat on right now? It looks like a geester mushroom, like an earth star. Classic earth star moment, so I am gonna go. Did you ever do the science experiment? I guess it's not really an experiment, but where you had the Fiji water bottle or any water bottle, just the Fiji ones were square, so it was cool. And you put the oil and the water inside of the water bottle and you colored the water, I think, so that it was blue and then the oil was clear. And then you just kind of do this and because of the viscosity of the oil, it was like a lava lamp. I think I did that in kindergarten, so. That stuck with me. All right, don't really know what this video is gonna be like. Just found some trash on the floor. And I'm gonna go out to work for a little bit. Welcome to the car. Welcome to the car, welcome to my dashboard. I've got a new tripod situation that makes it easier for me to talk to you in the car. But our lighting is not great. It is hot, I am hot. You know, it's been really warm lately in Illinois, which you wouldn't, you wouldn't think because it's like late fall time. Is it late? It's not, it's fall time, it's mid fall time, it's November. I've lived here for about two months now and I've not been so cold yet. Everyone just keeps saying, oh, just wait. Which is ominous. I feel like something horrible is gonna happen. I know it's just cold and snow, but people are making it sound like my life is gonna be over. And will it? Midwesterners chime in, is my life gonna be over? So yeah, I am sitting in a parking lot. I did some work in the Starbucks for about three hours or so and I need to go get some groceries, so I am going to do that. That's the Burger King, in case you were wondering. Um, but before I go in and I do that, I just wanted to say Illinois. Pretty cool, honestly. I like it here. Everyone keeps asking why I chose to move here of all places, and they say it with kind of a tone in their voice, like, what's wrong with you? I don't know what's wrong with me, but I love it here. I really do. The parks are awesome. The city's 40 minutes away. I just went into the city yesterday to do some like co-working with a friend and they brought me down to Lake Michigan for the first time, which I had never really walked along the water. Pretty cool. Pretty neat. Um, and then unrelated to Illinois, my knee hurts. <gasps> my right knee has been just at the gym this morning, it was bothering me. And I feel like it's getting worse as the day goes on. So, not sure what happened there. I'm gonna be hobbling around the grocery store with my giant bag of frozen broccoli. And then I'm gonna go home and eat and do some more work. And who knows? Who knows what else? Illinois is full of surprises. I'm sweating so much. Okay, I just wanna let you know that the woman working at the grocery store just asked me, well, hold on, let me set the scene. My knee hurts. I'm in self-checkout. I am trying to shove too many things into my one single bag that I brought. And this older woman comes up to me who works at the grocery store. She's not just some old woman and she says, you just come from working out? I said, no. I guess I'm just kind of wearing athleisure. <laughs> She's like, good for you. Back in the day, we used to wear stuff like that to work out in. 
nowadays people are wearing these latex sexy outfits. And I said, I kind of like I kind of like those sexy latex outfits that people wear to the gym. I think it keeps it keeps things exciting. She said for some for someone. That someone is me. When I got in the car, my knee I felt like it was exploding. So uh, I'm going to go home. keeping a sketchbook because like my work was too demanding as far as drawing went and I did not have any energy left over to work in a sketchbook but my mom got me this hand bound handmade sketchbook uh, that lays flat and the paper quality is great so I've been actually using a sketchbook again And it's weird how refreshing it feels to be doing this sort of thing again, even if I don't really care for how it's turning out. But I really enjoy going to the library, especially to draw from the books. This is from a Rubens book. Yeah. We're back, baby. In the, in the sketchbook zone. I'm really happy about it. So at the cafe I did a little bit of a little bit of sketchbooking. Um, let's see, what do we do today? Some person, some person in Starbucks. Uh, Lenny, which we already know about. Some Will Grahams. And some hands. Okay. The hair today, the shape of a buttocks, the shape of a butt, uh, ass cheeks, the shape of an ass cheeks. I didn't really film as much as I wanted to yesterday because a bunch of unexpected things were happening with my phone provider and my knee, which, hi, still hurts. It does still hurt. I didn't go to the gym this morning because of it. Um, I figured I would just sort of give it time to heal and rest, and when I bend it, it just, it twangs real bad. Like, it feels a little bit like I'm getting stabbed with a knife, so I figured that probably wasn't good for squatting today. I am always a little bummed out when I don't get to go to the gym because A, it's like my favorite part of the day, and B, I just, it, I feel like it gives me energy, so when I don't have that in my routine, I lack the energy that I usually have during the day. But we're gonna we're gonna move on. We are going to persevere. Just because I have a little bum knee, it's not the end of the world. My plan yesterday was to just like really clean our house and take care of some errands, but because of my knee, I don't know if I'll be able to, you know, be like bending down and 
scrubbing the floors as if I do that. I don't like... I do have some work goals today. Some goals for work and I do want to edit this video a little bit. And I want to um, take care of the chores that I can, that I feel able to. And there was something else, but I don't remember. Anybody else? Anybody else feeling that like mid to late fall time weird feeling? Like I feel like everyone I talk to just feels a little off. What's happening? Is this just gonna get worse? I'm a little scared. I'm having weird dreams. I've been sleeping naked for the last week and I'm getting more used to it, but also I feel so vulnerable and I feel like I wake up in a panic every night because somebody's gonna get me because I'm naked. But it's supposed to be good for you, I guess. It's also just convenient. Don't have to have pajamas if I sleep naked, so. But I do love pajamas. And like I do want like a Christmas, you know, Christmas pajamas, I do want that. So maybe it'll be like naked or Christmas pajamas, no in between. This is scary. This is scary. I can't exactly show you everything that I was working on yesterday and what I'm continuing to work on today, but I can show you kind of a piece. I was told by the publisher that I should not be sharing too much from this book, just what I can. So here's a tree. And I'm gonna be working on more stuff like this tree today. <laughs> 